kitty. He stopped swimming. Is he a little snapping turtle? I think he is. He's too. Hey guys, I know I look like a hot mess right now because I just got up a little bit ago, but I thought I would show you the back of my door after I painted it with chalkboard paint. I decided that I'm going to start writing little quotes on there and I've been on a Disney kick so I've been using like Disney quotes and I thought that I would do one of my favorites which is Dumbo. So yeah, I'm going to start doing this weekly where I show you what quote I decided to pick. So for this week or today, I drew Dumbo the best that I could because he's a cutie and then I put this quote from Dumbo and it says the very things that bring you down are gonna lift you up and then I just put the date and I think it is the cutest hey guys so it is Tuesday I'm sorry I did not actually like chat with you guys yesterday mainly because I didn't do very much um I kind of just like chilled yesterday because I felt like I deserved it I felt like I owed it to myself I'm sorry I keep moving the camera but my nose is itching sorry I ended up hanging out with Sarah for a little bit yesterday and that was a lot of fun she gave me sort of like a tarot card reading all I've done is eat dinner with my family I had some homemade mashed potatoes and some barbecue chicken and I watched The Bachelorette with my mom, and I just got finished writing some little things down for my things to be happy about videos, and that put me in a really good mood, as it always does. Like, anytime you feel like you're starting to get yourself into a bad mood, or anytime you're struggling with something, like, just thinking of all the little things around you that you should be grateful for always will cheer you up and make you feel a million times better. So I just got done doing that, and now I believe that I am going to get on the computer and upload my vlog from this past week. I ended up getting a lot of footage, and then I may just end up watching some YouTube videos <laughs> for the night. So yeah, that's my plan. Not really too much going on here, but yeah. Hey guys, so I just got up and I probably look a hot mess right now, but I wanted to hop on here real quick because Sabrina has sent me a package in the mail and I did cover up our addresses just so no one could see them. open in this right I might need some scissors I was just too excited I couldn't wait so I don't cut into anything but that was helpful okay so she put it in a tiny envelope And this is what was inside. So she left a little note in here and it says, God brought us together for a reason because we are soul sisters. Love yes, Sabrina. This bracelet will bring you luck, happiness, positivity, and so much more. That's cute. And then she sent me little, those are adorable, I'll totally wear those. You can't see them, but they're little spider earrings. They're so cute. And then she sent me the bracelet. She made this bracelet herself, was what she was telling me, and I love, like, what did I do? <laughs> I love, like, homemade presents for my friends, because to me, they're just, like, even more special. So, yeah, that was the little present that Sabrina sent to me so thank you so much Sabrina that really meant a lot and I'm probably going to be wearing these items every single day and I'm going to keep that little note forever so yeah I'll probably put it in my memory book actually so thank you and I'm definitely going to be sending you a present back very soon <laughs>
Hello everyone. So it's been a few days since I last vlogged with you guys and I thought that I would actually combine these two weeks together. So this may be like a really long vlog but I'll add it into like two parts if needed. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and catch you guys up on a few things that have been going on and the reason why I haven't really been, you know, on here as much is because I've been kind of dealing with a lot <laughs> and I've been going through a kind of a tough time. I've been in a really tough spot so I haven't really felt like getting out my camera and vlogging. However, I did get my trampoline the other day and I was really happy and grateful for that because um, I just made like a story time talking about like the time that I had a trampoline and you know, something happened to it and I had one and one so long after that and I finally got it so I'm very happy about that. I've been um, playing on it constantly every day since I got it. The I'm kind of taking a break as far as, you know, uploading videos and like internet goes because I feel like social media can be very um, tiring and just you know, it'll make you kind of depressed. If you're already depressed, it'll make you worse sometimes. So I'm trying to like stay away from it and just, you know, take some time to myself for a little while until I start to feel better. So yeah, and I thought I would show you guys my little quote for this week, even though you guys aren't gonna be seeing this video for a while because of my little break that I'm taking. This is what it looks like and it says, everybody wants happiness, nobody wants pain. But you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. And then, of course, I have the date. And I drew a little rainbow and an umbrella with raindrops going down. So I think it's really cute. I'm obsessed with the positive quotes. And now that I have the um, chalkboard paint on the back of my door, that's all I'm going to be doing is, like, writing quotes on it. And I think I'm going to go grab something to eat because I'm starving. And we're supposed to be having someone from... Scare of you come and pick up my old dresser for my room at the haunt and I believe this past weekend we actually went to scare of you and you know try to get a little bit of work done because we literally only have like two months until scare of you again which is so crazy to me <sighs> what else happened I believe me Tiffany and Ashley skyped on Ashley's birthday so that was a lot of fun you know we got to spend some best friend time together which we really needed so, yeah, but anyways, I'm starving, so I'm going to go in here and get me something to eat, and I'll catch you guys later. Since I didn't show you guys the past few days ago when I got this, this is my trampoline. I'm so happy with it, and also it looks as if it's getting ready to storm. I think I heard that it was supposed to storm really bad, so oh, we're going to have some fun. See, floors are gone. Is that hair? Where? It looks like a big pile of pubes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right here is a big <laughs> pile of pubes. Right there. You might want to take a picture of that. Just for, you never know. Take toilet brush, pubes. We're starting to figure out what really went on here. Are you still videoing? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't, I'm sorry. Oh, like, <laughs> you're fine, it's funny. Uh, let's see here. Here's a little hidden compartment. That could have, you know, I don't know, put a baby in. It's kind of fucked up, but it's true. This whole, uh... Here, I need to do a I need to do a Zach Bagans right here. Stand. My name is Josh Murphy. I never believed in ghosts until I came face to face with one. And now we are standing in the Felix G Hansford house. Boom. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday, July 4th, 2018. And I just got finished getting ready for no apparent reason. I don't really have anywhere that I'm going other than later, if the rain stops, which it should, um, we're going to go see the fireworks 
and then we're gonna come back home and I have some sparklers that I was gonna light off so hopefully the rain stops and subsides because it just came out of nowhere but yeah I've kind of been slacking on my vlog lately honestly because as I said before I just haven't really been filling up for it lately I've been in a really dealing with a really tough spot um, but I've been feeling a little bit better. Um, I went out and I hung out with a friend yesterday and we went to this abandoned haunted house and it was so creepy. I got a little bit of footage there actually which I'm sure I'll show you guys in the video. Um, but it was a lot of fun and it kind of got my mind off some stuff for a little bit so that was nice. And I may end up making like a whole video on that at some point. But that was all I did yesterday, and today I haven't really done anything other than um, jump on my trampoline. I did a few exercises on my trampoline. I think I'm going to start doing that from here on out because I feel like it's a lot easier for me to work out on a trampoline for some reason. I don't know why, um, but yeah, I've been doing that, and I was sweating my ass off because it was so hot. Like, the sun was beaming down on me, but... It was totally worth it and I came back inside I took a shower and actually a funny story I am gonna tell you guys my mom planned on making hamburgers today since it was the 4th of July and I'm like yes I'm so excited to eat me a delicious hamburger and I took a shower I got out of the shower I was I was late in the shower my mom came as I was you know washing my body or something and she's like Melanie the food's done so I'm like great so I had to hurry up put my clothes on I rushed out of the bathroom went into the living room and she said um your hamburgers are done so I started putting all my stuff on my hamburgers you know like all the stuff I like on them and all of a sudden this little teensy gnat comes out of freaking nowhere dude and it comes and it lands directly on my hamburger Okay, I waited a long time to eat this hamburger. I was excited about putting this hamburger into my mouth. And the snack just had to come out of nowhere and ruin it for me and stick its little gnat ass on my bun to where I couldn't eat it anymore. And like, unfortunately, we didn't have any other, um, we didn't have enough buns or anything to make any more hamburgers. So I ended up only eating one, but I am grateful for that one hamburger that I ate because it was pretty delicious. So yeah, that happened. Um, but yeah, hopefully the rain will subside and we'll get to go see fireworks. If not, then I don't know what we're going to do. Um, but I got dressed up anyways just because I wanted to and I did my makeup patriotic today. And I'm also wearing my little tie-dyed red, white, and blue heart shirt that my sister gave me. And then I cut off some jeans and turned them into shorts just because it was really hot out earlier and I don't have very many shorts. Most of my shorts are, I don't know, pajamas and I just don't want to wear those out in public. So I was like, you know what? I don't even wear these pair of jeans. I'm going to cut them off. So that's exactly what I did. So yeah, and I even have in some patriotic earrings so I'm very festive today um, hopefully I'll have somewhere to go show it off but I think that I'm getting ready to go down the road with my dad and yeah so if anything happens I will definitely let you guys know once again I'm sorry that I've been kind of slacking here lately I just haven't been filling up for it and I don't want to like produce you guys fake energy if I'm not feeling well you know so that's the reason why I've just been kind of taking a break from everything, which I think is good for you every once in a while. So, yeah, please forgive me.
You guys, it's storming so bad right now. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so it is Thursday and it is July 5th. Whoa, I hope I caught that on camera. That was wicked. We've been having severe thunderstorms t this evening. So I've been listening to those. Haven't done a lot today because I've been pretty lazy. I hope you can hear that glorious sound in the background. Um, not my ceiling fan, but the thunder. It's actually kind of fitting for the quote that's on the back of my door. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, so I've been very lazy today, and I sat around for, like, half the morning, and then I went outside, and I jumped on my trampoline, I worked out, and then I decided to come back in. I believe me and my dad went to Walmart for a little bit to look around, and then I came back home, I took a shower, and I believe that I visualized and wrote on my gratitude list because law of attraction is very important. And then after that, I wrote my dream journal because I have had a few dreams that, that I'm excited to share with you all. Um, so I wrote those down. And now I'm currently watching the gong show. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't really know what I'm going to do after this. I think I might work on my memory book a little bit because I'm very behind on it. And I want to keep this thing going because I started it at the beginning of the year. And, you know, I've been doing it for this long and I don't want to just, like, stop on it right now. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I have a lot of catching up to do on that. And also I wanted to show you guys something that is over here right here. So I don't know how well you guys can see because the lighting in my room is terrible, but my friend that I hung out with on Tuesday gave me this poster, this Annabelle creation poster, and I think that it is awesome. I absolutely love it, and it's a nice little addition to my Annabelle collection. So I hung it right there beside my bed because I don't have very much else space in my room. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. I just decided that I was gonna start my vlog today because I have not done that and it's been two days and I haven't really vlogged much at all. And then because not much has really been happening or going on with me these past couple of days. Um, I did stargaze last night, so that was fun. I seen two shooting stars, which I thought was awesome. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have been up to these past two days. Um, I know I am currently getting ready to go out with a friend, and I don't know what we're going to do, but we're just going to hang out for a little bit, so that should be fun, and I thought I would go ahead and end the vlog here, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and become a morbid maniac. And I will see you guys in my next video.